Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT, have you, ever, have you ever been interested in a woman and she didn't feel the same way or said she saw you as a friend, like ever in your whole life? Yeah, a bunch of times. All right, yeah. Rejection, gotta, rejection is good, Jones. It's healthy. Actually, let's talk about that rather than this story for a moment. And if we don't get to it, we'll do the next episode about this story. <laughs> okay, sure. I I was reading something the other day because this just spawned a, a thing. Yeah. About um how being rejected is a good thing. One hundred percent. Yeah, and it and it was. I guess I had never seen it written like that. And what the guy in the said or whatever when I was reading it was, uh, he said. Being rejected is good because you don't have like essentially what it was is like you don't have to waste your time you can just move on. Like so, oh, okay. like he said, okay. people when when you're trying That's to like one way to look at it I when, when you're trying to get a woman or a man or whatever like whatever you are and whatever you're attracted to when you're trying to like go out and find someone to date or whatever they either are uh, responsive, unresponsive, or neutral. Yep. And, like, when they're unresponsive, even if you convince them to be responsive, it's not – and it, it's still not going to be worth your time. So if you go up and say to them, hey, I'd like to take you out to dinner or whatever, and they're like, nah, I have a boyfriend. I don't find you attractive. Whatever. You've just cut out, another, A, one person that you never have to worry about trying to date again. Sure. B, B, whatever. And then when, when they're neutral, then, like – you have like, at that point you have to do something polarizing to make them go one side or the other. Like okay. either like admit your okay. intentions or like whatever. I feel that. And once you do that, if they reject you, then you don't have to worry about it anymore. It's done. And I was like, man, you're just like weeding out people that aren't interested. And like, why is that a bad thing? Because in the, also in that same thing, you should be asking questions. Like a, a lot of people ask, are they going to like me? And what you should really be asking is, am I going to like them? Yeah. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. It has nothing to do whether they like you or not. It's like, do they fit into your criteria oh, of yeah. someone that you want I've definitely date? had people who like me and I'm like, uh, I don't right. think this is going to work. Right. Exactly. I guess, I guess I've always looked at it from like a, the standpoints of like uh, more self actualization or like self improvement. Whereas in like, when you lift heavy weights at the gym, it makes you stronger as cliche as it may seem getting rejected makes you stronger too. Because is if you can get rejected and you can keep it pushing, it becomes easier the next time. It's just like taking a life, Jonas. The first, yeah, the first, the first one's the hardest, hardest one. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, no. That and then it's funny. I've seen. I saw a video somebody sent me a long time ago, and there was a guy who was like, "I'm terrified about being rejected by women. I'm just gonna go up to every woman I see and talk to them, and." face so much rejection that i get past the pain of it and it doesn't matter anymore yeah and like and you have to if you want to be successful you know yeah it's like anything it's yeah. it's uh and the other thing he said in that thing i was reading was like don't mess with people you don't find attractive because what's the point if you don't find them attractive and you don't want to date them anyways why are you trying to talk uh, um jonas yeah what about sex <laughs> Oh, in case you just want sex. And you yeah. Like, what about? What I'm not attracted want... to you, but I'll have sex with you. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I guess if that's your goal. Is it, wait, <laughs> wait a minute. Y- y- y'all out here having sex with girls you attracted to? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what y'all doing out here? Is that, is that what we doing? Oh yeah, I didn't realize. <laughs> <you were> doing... <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, they are not. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> That's a nice little guy. <laughs> Just cracking himself up over here. So anyways, so this guy, yeah. this is from Singapore. He he had he had a, a lady friend. I'm sure it was they were probably friends for a long time. And he he wanted to initiate romantically with her and she only saw him as a friend. So, you know, as most incels do, I guess, instead of just being like, okay, that person doesn't want me. Let's move on. He, uh, he threatened to sue her. I heard about this shit, man. Okay. Yeah, he said, uh, it was causing three, a $3 million claim. See, he said for causing damage to his stellar reputation, yep. trauma, depression, and impacts to his life as a, uh, as like a $22,000 claim for breaching an agreement to improve on their relationship. Yeah, yeah. that happened in China. So apparently, like, they even went to, like, 
a, a group therapy. I would say couples, but obviously they weren't a couple. But, but they, they were to, never a couple, right? No, but they went to some sort of therapy together, and they they had done it for almost five years or something. Okay. And I don't know. He still just was exhibiting a lot of like stalker like behavior. So here's my thing: if you don't want to date someone, why are you in therapy with them? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she was just trying to be helpful, or maybe she was she, people pleasing. She was she, not. She was not respecting herself. She might have been like just one of those kind-hearted people, and like you know, that's super attractive anyway. So I could see I that mean, being the thing. I don't know how attractive it is going to therapy with someone you're not interested in for five years. That screams like I can help you. It, I can heal you. Oh god. But I don't want to find you. I can I, I think you're great, but I don't want your parts inside. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? You know what I mean? There are some people who are super super like that. Just super nice and kind and they want to help and heal people and stuff. And then it's just like, look, nah. Like you're getting creepy now. Now right? you're trying to sue me. This is crazy. Yes. That's, so this yeah, that, 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 very, very, very uh red pilled <laughs> right there. Right? Yeah, dude, I'm like <laughs> We can now see it. Yo, if this case goes through, I got a couple chicks I'm calling up and yeah, issue, yeah. issuing a subpoena to today. Yeah, man, I really thought she was attractive and she didn't want anything to do with me. I better take her to court. <laughs> <laughs> That's How that. dare you not be attracted to me? They call that the fragile male ego, Jonas. Mm -hmm. uh, you cannot have a fragile male ego. You got to be able to take that take that L and just keep it moving. We all, we everybody's lost the fight. Everybody's got caught up in some bull crap in their days. Everybody's got their girl taken. All right, it's okay. Yeah, Just keep man. it moving. Take the yeah. no. I guess, like, yeah, I guess I, yeah, I don't have a very big ego about most anything. Like, no. I and like even like as far as like like I like to compete and I like to win, but like I don't care if I lose. Yeah. Like some people, you know, it's like. Losing is not an option. If they like, they're losing at like anything. They're just like losing their goddamn mind. I'm just like, what? Why are you so mad? <laughs> like, are you that like insecure that like you you look bad for losing and you're like, I don't know. I don't get it. I dude. mean, look, competition is competition. Look, I uh, I can't even talk on that because I've been labeled a narcissist the majority of my life. Um, I feel like I'm getting around it a little bit better. I try not to be that guy, but yeah, I don't know. Um. Definitely just take the L and keep it moving. Yeah, take it's the L and keep it moving. Yeah, dude. go find you go find you another <laughs> why are you trying to uh, talk to a girl who's good looking? Just go get a, a one who isn't. <laughs> what are you Is doing? That Is that the way they it's, why are you talking? I'm just saying is that people can't be out here just <laughs> just having sex with like hot women all the time. No, it's not happening. <clears throat> well, right. But if like, you look at some, next time you go to the grocery store, look at these married couples. People ain't out here. Fighting out here getting hot chicks, man. Hot chicks is for like uh, super lawyers, millionaires, billionaires, or you know, like I don't know. You got to own a tech firm or something. So, so how do you decide? Like, so when you're like, oh, I want to like hook up with someone off tinder or go on a date with someone like how do you decide if they're or they're just like well they like me so i'm gonna go meet them like no matter what like whether you're attracted to them or not um yeah i don't know get on there just riz them up man <laughs> let, let my wrist hang low i mean let, and let it wobble to and fro then uh, you know put them in a bag bring them but home there, i'm sure there's women you match with that you don't go meet no yo definitely Definitely. I hate, I honestly, on Tinder, I hate the, the text, the text line that you have to go through. Cause it's always like, you're meeting a new person. So what do you do? How are, and like in my age group, I'm not, I'm not 18, 19, 20. So we're not going to be talking about, I don't know, Rick and Morty, like you motherfuckers at home. We talk about like, <laughs> we talk about ex existential crises. We talk about life. We talk about, well, yeah. Cause school does. And I think, oh my God, stop. Uh, because if you're when you're like just I would just say over thirty, uh, when you're when you're you don't have a lot of room in your life because when you're grown and you have a job a full time job, no doubt, you don't have a lot of room for new people. And if yeah. you do, you got to make sure they're the right people. So if you let somebody in your life and they're taking up a few hours a week and then they end up being a trash ass person, you wasted a lot uh, of time. But you can never you never know until you try. So Oh yeah, I yeah. oh I've definitely been like, "Oh, this person's cool." And yes. then been like, "Oh god, they're not cool." The one thing that you are guaranteed with time is you're guaranteed to waste some of it. Sorry. Oh, absolutely. I've wasted a ton of time. 
Hey. Doing a lot of things. It's all right, man. I mean, you know, hey. But anyways, that's all the time we got for today's episode. Speaking of time, go to thecrazydown.com, uh, subscribe, and uh, I'm Jonas. TNT. Yep. <laughs>